The Multnomah County District Attorney's Office says they are working to prosecute violent and destructive criminal cases, which include rioting and vandalism in downtown Portland over the past year. Elise Haas is digging into the data to see how the DA's office is doing. Multnomah County District Attorney Mike Schmidt says that his office is using its limited resources to prioritize prosecuting people who are involved in acts of violence and property destruction. According to Portland Police, they arrested 14 people and detained roughly 100 in total in some of the most recent nights of vandalism on Thursday and Friday. District Attorney Mike Schmidt says they'll independently review each and every case they receive from PPB. In a statement, Schmidt went on to say in part, the issue of mass attention by police to identify individuals and to investigate a potential crime may result in future litigation. Of the total 14 arrests, they say 10 of those were criminal citations instead of jail bookings. The DA says three of the cases were referred to their office for review, and so far, the DA charged two people with crimes, while the third case was declined, requiring officers to follow up further. Looking back at the past year, between the end of last May through this past February, the district attorney's office says they've received 294 civil unrest and destructive demonstration related cases. The DA's data shows they've charged 65 out of 174 people in persons crime cases. 29 more were being referred back to police. The DA charged half of the 106 property crime cases with 18 others being referred back to officers. Seven out of 13 people have been charged for arson, with one being referred back to law enforcement to follow up, and 20 out of 32 people were charged in weapons crime cases, with a couple of cases being referred back to police. We will be circling back in the next few weeks to hear back from the DA and Portland Police about all of the arrests and those 100 detainees because they tell us that it could lead to further charges and litigation in the near future. In downtown Portland, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News.